They got a call left on our uh, answer machine. A puppy was stuck in a pipe. The puppy has been in there since last night. Got out here about 8.30 this morning and uh, couldn't see the puppy, could hear it. Called uh, the, the shelter, you know, let them know what was going on. No, no sight of it, but can hear it. It was higher up, so he probably fell down. He probably got right into that too. I mean, and it's right there. So that's about right two, two and a half feet. So the cement's what? That's going to be probably like four and a half inch. After that, it's digging time. I mean, you guys got sledgehammers? Let's go. No. Miles, hurry up and uh, stop what you're doing. Load the mini on there. Get down here as fast as you can. We, the puppy's right outside. It's down about six feet. We're going to be dead by the time we get down there to get to it. Okay, try to hurry. Get that thing loaded as fast as you can. Get down here. We need you to dig quick. This puppy's been in here since last night. He's crying like crazy. She's already, she's you already her eyes and say, you got to get that puppy out of here. We'll get the mini here. We'll get him out. He's either back in. Try to get around that corner. We're going to have to get this thing open up. Put on slow in case he's at the bottom. You see it? Yeah, you're just still going straight down, aren't you? Yeah. Get to the bottom, right? Now just hold and see how deep it is. Right there. I can make the turn, but when I made the turn, he started whimpering more. I don't know. I'd hate to push him farther back yeah. underneath. I'd hate for him to start backing up. We can't get to him. What happens is you get... I know, you got crap. Yeah, I, I could pull that out of there. I could suck that out of there. Yeah, but I'm but afraid. It, but I, I might suck him right up with it. You know? And you don't want it uh, to cave in, too. Yeah. If you make it, if you don't, yeah. if they don't excavate it right in back. So the excavator, you got to dig in probably all this right here. The next move is uh, the ex excavator, which is uh, pulling up right now. <laughs> down between the, the tile and the footing. Hey, I'm going to get out and cut me over that way so. It's probably on a neoprene gasket. I'm let me, sure it is. Let me, let me dig right where your right foot is. We'll get down deep there and we'll tunnel back under. Oh, I mean, they're getting, oh, 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 oh. They're getting ready. I think they're getting ready to pull it out. Hang on, buddy. 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 Miles wants that. Miles. I'll take it home for a souvenir. Here, give me a flashlight. All right, he's right there. He's about three foot back. You can see him. His head. He's looking right at me. Yep. Gonna get me down deeper so I can go back further. We're gonna have to go deep on. Him. Yeah, I got you. I got you. He's been out here since 8 o'clock this morning, and they've contacted Aaron Excavating Incorporated, and these guys have been to work with their muscles and their heart. We talked to the homeowner inside. She has a one-month-old baby inside, so she's got her hands full. Said when she heard the puppy go in the drain last night, she's been crying all night listening to it cry. It's mothers in the house crying. Um, so it's been an emotional it's situation out here, but they're almost there. They're almost there. They're talking to him, saying, on, hang baby. on, Come buddy. On, Pull out of there. He's there he is. There right he is. There he is. Here. That's a little voice that led rescuers 
right to him literally about 30 seconds ago. He is pulled out of the hole. They worked so hard. You said his nose is a little dry. Is he okay? Yeah, he seems all right um, from, you know, my knowledge. He's, you know, his nose is a little dry. He's a little cold. Um, other than that, he doesn't look bad. He's a little fighter. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a big time fighter. Now, you guys, you've been out here since 8 a.m., but these guys have been digging for yeah. a couple hours. These guys, I mean, the guy down there in the hole, I don't even know his name, but he's a machine. So what's going to happen with the puppy tonight? Uh, we're going to take him inside and see how he does. Um, probably hang out for a little bit and uh, go from there. Okay, all right. Thank you for what you do. It's I important know. that people know this is what you do every day. Every this is why it's important for Hi, I'm Tom McPhee with the World Animal Awareness Society. I'm currently on the city streets of Detroit counting stray dogs. We want to solve the mystery of how many. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we've been discovering. The service by 